a real estate agent, you finally decided, I am going to start a YouTube channel. <laughs> you know that you've needed to do it for a long time now and you're ready to take the plunge. But where do you start? In this video right here, I'm gonna talk about really how to get started in creating content for your YouTube channel. Hey guys, my name is Sarah Allen, welcome to my channel. In this channel, we talk all about how to help real estate agents attract their ideal clients on YouTube. So if that information is useful to you, consider subscribing and hitting the notification bell because we're gonna be coming out with new content every single week. Let's get right into this topic, really how to start creating video content. So the biggest thing that I would say is that number one tip is pick a niche. So with real estate, a lot of agents think, okay, so the area that I serve is my niche. And the truth is that doesn't set you apart from any other agent who is serving in that area also right? So, you know, maybe your niche is your listing specialist, or maybe your niche is, you know, really working with people that are relocating, like perhaps you yourself have relocated to that area and you want to help other people and serve other people that are relocating, or you work with military families. You know, there's a lot of different niches within real estate. And so a way that you can even think about it is who are the types of people that I like to serve the most? You know, when you look at the, the clients that you've served and that you've worked with and you know, you've helped close transactions, what clients have you enjoyed working with most? So that that can be a really good way to pick a niche. And really the reason that that's important is because the content that you put out is going to be the type of clients that you attract. So for example, if you're a real estate agent and you really want to get listings, if you put out buying content like how to buy a home in Phoenix, Arizona, you're going to get people that are interested in buying and not selling. So again, it's really important early, like before you start shooting videos to pick a niche, like who are you going to serve basically? Okay. Tip number two, I think it's important to be realistic about what you can consistently post, right? So if you're currently not somebody that's posting, it would be unrealistic to say, I'm going to post a new video every single day. What I would do is start with one video every other week. And then when you do that consistently, maybe five or six times, then you can move up to one video a week because it's very important on the YouTube algorithm to just be consistent with your content, especially as you know, you're kind of building up that audience and building up that following, they're going to want to hear from you. So it's important to just really be consistent about that content creation and video uploads, as well as just being realistic about what you can do. Because the last thing you want to do is say, okay, yeah, I'm going to post a video every day. And then you don't do it and then it's just discouraging to not meet your goals, right? So you really want to be realistic about that. My tip number three is going to be planning ahead. So what I like to do is really plan your videos a month at a time, or maybe if you're doing it every week, maybe it's two months. And you know, you, you spend some time thinking about what are the videos that I'm going to shoot. And actually in this video right here, I go through my favorite keyword research tool that informs all of the videos that I shoot. I'm super simple. It's practically a free tool. It's like $10 a year. So, you know, feel free to check that video out if you need help identifying what type of videos I need to be shooting. But like I said, it's really important for you to plan ahead so that when you are going to shoot the videos, you actually, you know, know what you're going to say, you know what you're going to talk about, and you're not starting from ground zero, right? Especially if you're starting a YouTube channel, it can be really overwhelming and hard. And, you know, it's just important. It really helps you to just have a plan. And ultimately, too, Two, you want to make sure that your content is valuable. So, and sometimes that takes planning to think through, okay, so, you know, really what's going on with the real estate trends. If, you know, you just show graphs and you don't synthesize and really help people understand the information, it might not be that valuable for them, right? So you really just want to take some time to plan. I recommend, you know, maybe an hour or two to just plan out a couple months of content so you can feel good as you go into shooting. So you take a, you know, planning ahead of time to number three, you, you take some time to plan and then you shoot at a different time, which brings me to my last point and final point, tip number four. You want to shoot all your videos at the same time. And there's a lot of different reasons for this, but the main thing is that, you know, in today's world, especially, and as a real estate agent, you've got so many things to do, right? So time blocking and, you know, focusing on a single task for that time block is really going to yield the highest efficiency for your YouTube channel video creation. 
So I think it you can really shoot, actually you'd be surprised at how much video you can get done in a couple of hour time frame. You know, I know for myself, you have to get your space ready. You know, maybe you have to get your camera, your iPhone set up, you gotta get the lights. If you feel like you need makeup, you gotta get your makeup on, you gotta comb your hair, you gotta get ready for the camera. And it's just, it takes time. So why not just get all of your videos done at once? I shoot about a month at a time, which is four videos. And you know, if you have kids like I do, I have a year and a half year old, I have to do all my shooting when my son is asleep. <laughs> because, you know, as a parent, the kids will just be banging on the door. So you know what's gonna work right for you, but I definitely would recommend shooting all your videos at the same time. And then you only have to do it once a month. So super simple, super easy. So now hopefully you have a better idea on how to create video content for YouTube consistently. But you might be wondering, you know, what are the videos that I should be creating in the first place? In this video right here, I actually go over my favorite keyword research tool called Keywords Everywhere. And I just go through how to find out what types of videos you should be shooting. So watch this video and I'll see you over there.